Mark Nicholas, the new boss at MCC, that's the fancy cricket club, is making some big noise about changing the way we play cricket. He says, hey, let's keep the long 50 over games just for the big World Cups and let the fast-paced T20 cricket take over the rest of the time. Why? Because he thinks T20 cricket has some kind of superpower that's taking over the game. He's saying, look, ODIs, that's the 50 over games, aren't filling up stadiums in many countries anymore. T20 cricket, on the other hand, is like a superhero. Loads of people want to own teams, countries want to host tournaments, and players want to play all around the world. Money talks, my friends, and T20 is winning. But here's the kicker. Nicholas thinks scheduling 50 over cricket alongside T20 just makes the death knell, that means the end, of the ODI game even louder. He knows it's a tough sell, especially right before the 2023 World Cup, but he believes someone's got to say it. Now, the big question is, will the ICC, the big cricket bosses, listen? Nicholas knows he needs to turn this into a proper plan for them to even consider it. He thinks MCC, with its long history in cricket, can use its soft power, that means influence, to make a difference, even if it's not directly running the show anymore. Nicholas is also feeling a bit of tension with the ICC. He thinks they see MCC as a bit of a threat. When MCC tries to speak up, ICC is like, hold up, we're in charge here. So he's saying, let's work together better. Let's not be rivals, but partners in the game. But it's not all smooth sailing for Nicholas. The club is in a tricky spot, especially after a report called them out for being too elitist. They got scolded for being mostly for men and not doing enough for women in state school cricket. However, Nicholas, being the founder of Chance to Shine, a charity that introduced cricket to millions of state school kids, thinks he can make a change. He wants to show that MCC isn't just for the posh folks. They care about the regular folks, too. He's got plans to double the number of community hubs and pump in some cash for the grassroots game. Nicholas knows there's a bit of an elitist tag on the club, but he wants to work on it. And talking about tricky situations, there's this age-old cricket match between Eaton and Harrow. Nicholas thinks it might move away from Lords after 200 years. That's a big deal in cricket history. It's a compromise, but Nicholas believes the schools might decide to play elsewhere. So, Mark Nicholas has got his work cut out for him. Changing the way cricket is played, fixing the elitism tag, and maybe even moving a historic match. Let's see if he can hit these big shots during his time as MCC's president 